Hey everyone, welcome back. Happy New Year and I hope you had a great holiday period. We took a little break from making videos but we are back and ready to go. For the next couple weeks we'll be looking at some 3D drawings, 3D projections, mainly isometric, oblique and perspective. We'll be doing them in AutoCAD. We're gonna begin with isometric. Uh, in front of us right now we have an object drawn in isometric perspective and um, well isometric projection sorry and I'm gonna walk you through the steps of how we're gonna get here this is a two-part series we have an overall length of 60 and a width of 30 so as with any other isometric drawing you know whether you are doing it manually or otherwise we begin with a cross it doesn't matter the length of the lines too much all right so we have our horizontal and our vertical line and where they cross is that point is known as the lowest point of our isometric drawing i'm just gonna label it as a for the purpose of this video and uh, you'll see that right now i'm also going to insert a very short video detailing how to go about using the iso the isometric projection command Okay, so we have we are all set up now. We have our horizontal and vertical line, and the icon I'm pointing at right now. ISO draft. Right, it's short for isometric drafting. This basically allows you to draw lines in two different planes. Um, yeah, two different planes. Thirty degrees to the left or 30 degrees to your right as we all know isometric drawings the receding lines are drawn at 30 degree angles now if you look at the drop down arrow for the iso draft you'll see three different options there's iso left right and top if you want to toggle between them instead of having to always go and click the drop down arrow all the time you can simply press f5 and it will automatically toggle between them for you all right so there's iso draft i just took it off there to draw some vertical lines but you actually do not need to take it off because if you're in if you are in the left plane or the right plane the two lines that you can draw are actually you can draw the left plane and a vertical line or you can draw the right plane and a vertical line all right so how we do the isometric drawing is we first draw a block we draw a block in isometric now the dimensions of this block will be equal to the outer dimensions of the object so once you have the outer dimensions you draw a block to those specific measurements and then from there you begin actually do I want to say delete? You begin cutting out and pulling your measurements and your different shapes from within the block. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I am actually drawing the outer block. It's 60 by 30. Okay. 
and you can see it here now we actually have a cuboid in isometric projection also you will notice that iso draft is on i am currently in the i'm currently in the top the top down view or the top view of the iso draft and what it enables you to do is you can draw 30 degree angle lines to the left or to the right but it does not allow you to draw vertical lines. If you look at the ISO draft icon throughout the drawing, you'll realize that it keeps changing, and that's because I'm toggling it. I'm toggling between the three different planes depending on what I need drawn. So right now it's it's at it's on the right plane. It's I can draw a vertical line or I can draw a line going to the right side. Okay, so what you're not seeing during the drawing is you don't see me toggle back and forth, but I'm actually, what I do is I actually pause my recording, go back, look at the picture, get some measurements, get some details, and then I come back here and I execute. So when you are doing it, if you want to attempt it um, that's what I would suggest have the picture open somewhere it, it might be on your phone tablet laptop whatever you have it open and um, you are toggling you're going back and forth looking at the picture ensuring that your measurements are correct etc and then you come back to your drawing and you and you do accordingly now the lines that I'm inserting here these are nine millimeter lines if you look at the drawing the original drawing of the isometric object you will see that there was a cutout at the front here and the dimensions for it were nine millimeters so what I'm doing is I'm just pulling some short lines so like this line is nine millimeters so I'm just pulling a short line to establish where or establish the distance of the cutout again as usual you can feel free to feel free to slow down the video feel free to go back and watch it again um, if you want to speed up a certain section by all means do that all right so you'll see some funny editing going on here i just realized that the height of this second ring i drew it at six millimeters but upon further inspection i realized that it was actually nine millimeters so i'm actually going to raise the entire height of this base you could say i type in nine that's it good so what i'm gonna do now is select all these lines going around here and i'm just gonna move it i'm just gonna move them up to the nine millimeter mark Right, so there we are. As you can see, the base is now taller than it was before. And this is now correct. So I'm just using the trim command. And all these different commands, I have 
covered i've done videos on them before um, trim move scale so you can go through different videos on the channel and catch up on some of the different commands in AutoCAD. Now you can see, you can see I was just toggling through the different axes in the ISO draft. Again, you do that via F5. Depending on your keyboard layout, you may just be able to press F5 or you may have to press function F5. So I'm establishing a center line for my object. At the top I just drew that there and um, there are some pictures the pictures there are two arcs on our drawing the center of the first arc is 15 millimeters away from the end so I just draw a line representing 15 and the second line is 18. You see me type 18 and there we go. How did we get 15? Now, the diameter of this arc is 30 because our object is 30 millimeters wide. So if the diameter is 30, then the radius is 15 and yeah that's basically how we got it now when you're looking for your points to pull your lines from you could see me there just going back and forth you need to it's good to know what these symbols represent so if you point your cursor or you point at a line and you see a triangle that's the midpoint of a line if you see a square that's the end of a line so you need to know what you are looking for all right now this is part one of this particular isometric drawing i'm wrapping up right now and um Part two will be out very shortly. So this is the main frame of the thing. This is the main frame. It may look a bit confusing now, but in part two, I'll actually change some of the layers so you can see the outline and we can see what we have cut out and that kind of stuff. So if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, um, leave a like, and very shortly or very soon there'll be more content coming your way we'll be completing this object and we'll be going on to oblique and to perspective thank you and i hope you have an excellent 2021